Ahora ya el celular. just like you are. So before we begin, does everyone have their census paperwork? Okay. Did you see a two? Did you see a two in the sky? I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, family, come here. So you're telling me you just didn't see the sky? Something amazing just happened. Well, we were cheering our field, watching over our sheep, just like any other night. And slowly, the sky starting to brighten. And then just like that, the light took over the entire sky. It was beautiful, breathtaking. But at the time, we were so afraid. We thought we might be in danger. But we weren't in danger. Tell them about the angel. An angel appeared in the night and spoke to us. Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. A Savior born there, in the city of David. Christ the Lord. Tell them what the angel said next. The angel also said there will be a sign for us. The baby will be lying in a manger, wrapped in swaddling cloths. And then suddenly, the sky came alive with a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, on earth, peace among those whom he is pleased. There was silver and tents. It was as if the shaped the earth. It was like their place, every star in the sky. There were so many of them. Then suddenly, as quickly as they came, they left. Everything was quiet for a moment. We, need we must see what we've come to know and share this great news. We had to stay here with our animals, but our brothers have gone into the city with haste to see if they can find the baby. Then they're gonna come back here, tell us the truth, and bring us to. We want to see the newborn king so we can worship him and tell everyone about him. Well, I am just so glad that we encountered you. We're headed into the city right now for the census. Maybe we can find the newborn baby too. Be on your way then. The brightest star in the sky will shine for our savior in the city of Bethlehem. Goodbye. Come on, family, come on. Who knows? family we're entering the city remember we have not been here before we don't really know what's going on so stay together i don't want to lose anything
Shalom. 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 Shalom, shalom. Five shekels, please. Help a poor man out. Five shekels. Help a poor man out, please. Five shekels. Family, we're entering the marketplace. Please stay together. Town tonight, you probably saw the market there, but everything you need for your long journey can be found right here. Let me tell you a little story about this fine, fine woman. I've been working next to her for many, many years, and I am going to be honest, I have never seen her sell a thing until oh, I'm tonight. Outside. It has to be because so many people are in town for the census. Um, I mean, I'm it's like true, the census is good for kinda... business, but it is such a beautiful night tonight, and we have such a beautiful beautiful star in our sky right over yeah. our town oh it makes me hopeful because you're always going on and on about uh, well, what's this hope stuff you keep talking about yeah hope for what hope that uh, life will get better for us Jews. Okay. life under king herod is hard Bye. but having these romans in town now Oh, family, she is right about the Romans. I know you have a long journey ahead of you tonight, but if you encounter the Romans, be very, very careful. It's as if the Romans go out of their way to make our lives miserable here in Bethlehem. They're cruel and they're greedy people. I mean, fearing the Romans, even the two of us agree upon that. That's true, we don't, we don't agree. We all come family, I'm sorry to admit. But I will tell you, my family has been praying for the Messiah to come. Just like Moses led the people out of oppression, out of Egypt to the Promised Land, I believe that our Savior will be here soon, and He will bring us to a new Promised Land, overflowing with milk and honey. In fact, if you've heard the words of the prophet Micah, 
He says that our Savior will be born right here in Bethlehem. It could even be tonight. Wow, could you imagine a mighty Savior being born in a tiny little town like Bethlehem? Why not? No, no, there is no way the next king of the Jews could be born in a place like this. I am sure it can't pop it here. Okay, well first, this is a wonderful town. And second, you don't know anything. Of course our, our Savior could be born here tonight. Our God is capable of, of amazing, wonderful, miraculous things. It, it could be anything. In fact, I saw shepherds running through the marketplace earlier tonight, and they were talking about a baby in swaddling clothes. You saw shepherds, and they were running through the marketplace. I don't know how you miss them. Are you them. crazy? They smell very bad. I, I did not see shepherds. Of course, I, I probably was too busy selling fish and bread. I also doubt that. I, I mean, we, we did encounter some shepherds on the way into the city, see? and and they did tell us about a newborn baby possibly the king of the Jews that was born here tonight. So we should probably go look for that baby now, family. That is amazing news. Good luck on your search today. Yeah, safe, you. safe and journey, safe, family. Safe. Shalom, family. Shalom, Shalom. 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 the shepherds. Shalom. Let me know, because I did not see the shepherds tonight. Shalom, Shalom. Makers of trouble, move along. Uh, I can smell the prison on a few of these. Well, 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 what do we have here? Another large group of people in a city where it's illegal to have this many people. So, what's going on? We're just here for the census. We're here to register. We're at the house of David. A census. And what do we do with a census? Yeah, we need to count you so we can keep track of you. And? Yeah, so that we can tax you. Yeah, <laughs> that's the whole purpose of a census is we just want your money. We really don't care who you are. So, but before we let you go on, I think you need to check some paperwork. Oh, we don't want any trouble. We can just... Go oh, ahead. no trouble at all. Guards, you check your the paperwork. General papers, general papers, hold them up. Papers, papers, papers. papers. We'll take care of them first. <laughs> Where are you from? With this ridiculous outfit. I'm walking home. The prison, guard, come into prison. This one. Take them in. Let's go. 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 Yeah, I, where are you from? Yeah, I got my papers right here. Also, the same man with you. Oh, strength and honor, brother. Welcome. Are you with you? No. I have my papers to do This one needs to go to prison. No, we have papers. It's We have papers. We're legal. Are the papers filled out? <laughs> That's it, got it out. Am I hearing? What is it? What is the yeah, yeah, yeah. With the I think rolling. this is a group talking about this <laughs> new kid. <laughs> Hold on. What? Please. Somebody in this group talking about a new king? What do you mean a new king? You have your king, Herod of Judea. And of course, we have our ruler and your ruler, Caesar. Hail Caesar! The Messiah is here. We've already heard about the, the king, a baby. We've heard about this Messiah, this baby, all night long. There is no new Messiah, there's no new ruler. You are mistaken on all that. You are under Roman rule, and as such, we will keep the peace on the roads and the cities here, without question. But since we are tired of dealing with you tonight, we are going to release you and make you move on your way. Go! Uh, oh, you're yeah, a general! Right. Right. You're a general! Move on! Move on. Move on. Move on. Move on. Move along, makers of trouble. Family, yeah, let's, go, let's go into this inn. Maybe we can find a room for the night. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come on in. Come on in. We got room over here. Come this way. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, is this 
tell me, where where will you be staying for the night? Oh, we have no place to stay. Oh, I'm so sorry. We have no room. No room at all for like anyone. That's correct because of the census. Many families have been coming here to Bethlehem. All the descendants of the house of David, just like you. We've been turning people away for several days now. In fact, we had to turn away a young couple that was expecting their child. Oh, yes. Poor thing. The young woman was great with child, and we felt so bad and were so worried, but we had no room. But so my husband did the best that he could and offered to stay full with the animals. I hope they can manage in there, because uh, sleeping with animals, what, what can we do? You, you did everything that you could do. You offered the best that we have. Mother, father, the baby. This is the most beautiful baby you've ever seen. Father? Could this be the baby people are talking about? The one that will be the new king? Or maybe the Messiah? The Messiah? The king, the Messiah in our stable? Impossible. But you know, the prophets did say that our savior would be from the line of David. The king, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. His son born in our stable. The father, what if he is the Messiah? What if? Could it be? But why here? Why now? Sir, we we did encounter shepherds on our way into the city, and they told us this amazing story. The sky is bright as day, and the angel of the Lord appeared to them and said that the Messiah had been born in the city of David two nights. And he said there would be signs that the baby would be wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. Lying in a manger? Could they that's be speaking it. of the baby that's, that's in the stable? Be. It has to be. Remember the words of Isaiah. For unto us a child is born, unto us a child a son is given, and he should be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Please go. Worship the new king. Family, Worship we found the, the Savior coming. Oh, Jesus, 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 God with us, Emmanuel, by all in a stable, surrounded by animals, placed in a manger, a feeding trough? No, God's one and only son should be born in a palace in the grandest of situations. But that is not what God wanted. Because God loves us so much, he wanted his son to be born in the humblest of ways, so that he would experience life just like you and me. He would experience pain and heartache, loss, rejection. But the difference is he would not once do something wrong. He would not once do something against God. Jesus lived a perfect life, so he could be the needed sacrifice. This baby was destined to grow up and die. A gruesome death on a cross, bearing the weight of our wrongdoings on his back so that we could be washed clean. But the story did not end there. Three days later, he came back to life, proving that he truly was the son of God and it truly can save each and every one of us. The wrongs that we do separate us from God and keep us from living the life God intended for us, full of joy and fulfillment. But when we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we can be restored. The Apostle Paul wrote that if we confess with our mouths that Jesus is Lord and believe in our hearts that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved question I have for you this Christmas. Is this just an ordinary baby? Or is this the Lamb of God come to take away the sins of the world? Oh, look, it's messy. <laughs> it's just a young girl who's oh, criticizing. You should have heard her.